So ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Total Extreme Wrestling. Today we are booking the road to WrestleMania. We just had the No Way Out pay-per-view. It was the last show that we had on the stream. It was a 90 rated show. We had Steve Austin defeating Triple H for a 94 rated matchup. And the main event also featured a face-off between Shawn Michaels and Steve Austin after that match. Kane defeated the Cactus Jack in a cage match for just 77. A little bit disappointing. British Brawls were good against the, the, uh, the Black Jacks for 65. And Goldust defeated Lance Storm. That's right, we brought in Lance Storm. And we returned Goldust. He's back after Rehab 62. Legion of Doom defeated... Legion of Doom and the Handbangers, rather, defeated the Nation of Domination. Farouk attacked The Rock after the match. So kind of setting up a match up there at WrestleMania. Uh, we had Road Dogg and Rick Rude cutting a promo on Ken Shamrock, who hit the ring and beat them all up. Mark Merrow defeated Vader to keep the European title. Marty Jannetty defeated Kaz Hayashi to, to keep the lightweight title, but he was absolutely destroyed by Brian Pillman, who came and attacked him after the matchup. And The Undertaker defeated Sid Vicious in a 78-rated cage match. Kane chokeslammed Sid after the match because he lost. Overall, 92, 26,000 attendance, 0.82 buy rate. And I'm pretty happy about that one. But yeah, today the plan obviously is to get as close as we can to WrestleMania. We're in week 3 of February. So I'd say we'll try and get to week, maybe the end of week 1. And try and get 3 weeks or so of shows booked up here. Maybe more. But these are our rivalries right now. Um, and for our WrestleMania show, we do want to get... Vader and Jeff Jarrett on the board, so we might add that one to our storylines. Unless, no, that storyline is ended, so that's all good to add in. And then we'll have, I think, I think we kind of decided it might be Mero versus Goldust for the European Championship. So, um, something that uh, I wasn't planning on doing, but, you know, it is what it is. And we'll have Luna, who... Luna's managing Goldust for now, so we'll, we'll keep that one going. So maybe we can ha involve Luna in Sable's rivalry as well. So yeah, so those are our, our new storylines that we've got going on, and that's pretty much the WrestleMania card right there, which um, should have the big match between Shamrock and Road Dogg, Triple H and Owen Hart, also Taker and Kane, Austin and Michaels, so some good matches there that hopefully will provide a good show overall. So this is Raw is War. Let's take a look at the first show since No Way Out. We open things up with D-Generation X and Vince McMahon. Basically, basically Vince McMahon just saying to DX, please, we can't have Austin. We can't have this guy. He's a more of a he's a worse degenerate than you guys. He's even worse than DX. Can't have this guy running around, running the show, being the champion of the WWE. You gotta beat him at WrestleMania. You gotta get it done. 100 rated for the opening segment. Chainsaw Charlie and Cactus Jack defeated Los Pericas for 75. Chainsaw, 47. Cactus, 84. Miguel, 45. Salvio, 58. So, without a doubt, Cactus carrying big time, as we expected. Owen Hart, 85 for his promo. And that was hyping up a match against Triple H. Goldust knocked off Honky Tonk Man for 62. And afterwards, he cut a promo challenging Mark Marrow for the European Championship. See, Blackman defeated Carmen Mustafa for a 60. Blackman 55, Mustafa 52. Brian Pillman's promo explaining why he attacked Marty Jannetty at No Way Out ended up being a, a 56 rated. Um, promo basically Pillman described it as you know he was out in rehab trying to recover taking some time off trying to recover overcome his personal demons meanwhile Marty Jannetty got the big comeback story Marty Jannetty got the heroes welcome back whereas nobody has even cared about Brian Pillman being gone so Pillman frustrated wanted to try and take out the hero and craft his own way to the top Owen Hart and Road Dog 101 in what was essentially our main event. 78. Owen Hart 86. Road Dog uh, 62. Ken Shamrock ran in and cost Road Dog the match. The IC title was on the line as well. Triple H on commentary advanced two storyline, well, two big storylines, two big matches there for the one storyline. But 78 overall there. 
And then afterwards, The Undertaker came out, cut a promo on Kane, basically saying the time for games is over and at WrestleMania, he wants to end it once and for all. Basically teasing in a way that he wants to fight maybe in Hell in a Cell. But uh, I might have Paul Bearer challenge The Undertaker in for the Hell in a Cell. So we might do that. 96 for that one. That gives us a 81 overall show. There weren't enough attractive women on the show. We didn't have any. Really. Not a single one. Yeah, I suppose that's true. China doesn't qualify. Luna Vachon doesn't qualify. No Sable, no Sunny. We're in a bit of trouble. Okay. Not a great, great thing at all. Alright, so we had a 22.4 nine rating let's hope our tv rating does beat wcw again it does 21.77 main event was hogan versus nash so they kind of went all out in the main event there still couldn't get it done not a great match i suppose you could say 82 for wcw so they did claw it back a little bit i actually no, we just went up never mind our rating just went up so we are beating wcw what is that three weeks in a row now killing it absolutely killing it all right so this is shotgun saturday night let's take a look at the results hardy boys took on the british brawlers to open things up matt hardy 47 jeff 56 finley 59 regal 61 overall for 60 nice match buck mary cut a promo on gold dust firing back after gold dust remark on raw bradshaw took on animal for 57 nice hard hitting match there Animal 62, Bradshaw 52. Farouk 66, nice promo. He explained why he attacked The Rock and what's going on with the Nation of Domination. DOA took on too much for 52. Skull 38, eight ball 42, Taylor 50, uh, 43, and Christopher 57. They've got good chemistry, very good. Main event was Jeff Jarrett versus Wyndham and Jarrett 70, Wyndham 52, 65 for the show. New champion of WCW. Okay, let's take a look at Super Brawl. The British Bulldog and DDP defeated the Steiner Brothers for the tag titles in the main event. What are they doing? Tag titles in the main event, 83. Hulk Hogan beat Ric Flair and Raven. Wow, Raven gets a title shot. What's he at? 59 popularity. Wow. Ric Flair, he's not that high either. 77, 78. That was a 91 rated match though. It's a nice match. Should have made a vented. Should have made a vented. Booker T defeated Morris and Henning to win the US title. So Booker T gets a singles title pretty early, I'd say. Kurt Henning's had a, a good run. He's had a, a number of title defenses actually. Eight of them. And that comes to an end. Conan defeated Disco Inferno to win the TV title. So title changes galore here. Brad Armstrong beat Rey Mysterio for the Cruiserweight title. Are you kidding me, really? Brad Armstrong beat Rey. They were going pretty good until that. Pretty good until that one. Scott Norton defeated LaParka, 75. Goldberg got a win against Hammer. Moving two to beat Riggs. Where's Bret Hart? He was involved in a segment with the Giant. That's it. Come on. 50,000 in attendance though. My goodness. Four, six, buy rate. Okay, so this is Raw is War. Let's take a look at the results. We took a look at Val Venus to see where he's at. He hit a 32 rate of performance. Honky Tonk Man 47 was the opponent. We gave Val the victory because why not? Why would we give Honky Tonk Man a win? 41 overall. Steve Austin and Vince McMahon opened things up. They had a promo, kind of replying to what happened last week on Raw. Austin kind of, you know, promising Vince that he's going to make his life a living hell when he wins the championship, etc., etc. Ken Shamrock and Willie Regal had a nice match. 82 rated, Shamrock 84, Regal 63. And that's that's really good, actually. And we advanced the Hart Family Redemption storyline that Shamrock's involved in, 82. Animal and Hawk promo on the tag team division. They cut one on Cactus Jack and Chainsaw Charlie specifically. 
Cactus had a match against Fit Finley one on one, 82 again. Cactus 84, Fit Finley 56. So the brawl is doing well, getting carried nicely by a stronger opponent. Triple H promo on Owen Hart for 85. Farouk and Karma went one on one for 63. So Karma was pretty annoyed with White about the fact that Farouk attacked The Rock at No Way Out, so he was looking to compete against him. It ended up being a draw because The Rock interfered and attacked Farouk. And the referee just called it off. 62 from Farouk, 51 by Karma. The Rock's babyface turn slowly beginning. Goldust and Luna challenge Mark Mera and Sable to a tag team match. The main event, 89. Wow, this is going to be a good show. Austin, 93. Road Dog, 61. We gave Steve Austin the win over DX member Road Dog. 84 overall. We didn't have enough women. Ooh. I thought for sure we'd be okay. I guess not. 84 overall, though. That's a good show. That's a good show. Okay, so we had a 22.22 rating. Our rating went down. Nitro. Ooh. Oh, I can see why. Bret Hart beat Sting on Nitro. Kidding me, dude? Really? On Nitro? That's a great match. I applaud them. Well done. But on Nitro? Wow. Sting lost. There you go. So, Bret Hart. Two wins, two losses this year. And that's his best... Oh, not even his best match. His best match was against DX. 94, though. Good match. Helped Nitro nearly take the win. 22.02. It's very, very close. Mega Powers beat Glacier and Ernest. Kurt Honey beat Ray Trailer. 75. Stick Ray beat Hammer. Mortis beat Goldberg. Oh, no. There goes Goldberg's winning streak. What do you have? A one match, two match winning streak. That's it. Gone. <laughs> well, he had a good run. So, WCW 86. And you can see, not a lot in it. It's about 100,000 or so viewers. Yeah, 160 so thousand viewers. Very, very close. Very, very close. This is Shotgun Stadium Night. Let's take a look at the results. Open things up with The Rock and Farouk backstage, fighting, they're brawling, but The Rock ultimately gets the better of him and lays him out. It's a bit of revenge on the attack at No Way Out. We saw the in-ring debut of Brian Pillman. He took on Takamichi Noku and he pulled a hamstring. Are you kidding me? He's pulled a hamstring in his first freaking match. Takamichi Noku 56, Pillman 49, 58 rated match. Well, a pulled hamstring, I don't know for wrestling, but it normally means at least three weeks, four weeks maybe. Maybe more. That's going to be a problem. Maybe because it's a pull instead of a tear, it might be better. I don't know. We've got some time. We've got time until WrestleMania. Thank God. We've got a month. It might be touch and go. Afterwards, Brian Pillman, who's hobbling away with a pulled hamstring, cuts a promo on Marty Jannetty. Well, we might be cancelling that match. Headbangers defeated Recon and Sniper. Gave the Headbangers a win. 50 rated. Goldust cut a promo on Mark Marrow, challenging him to a match. Vader defeated Kurgan for 61. 71 by Vader, Kurgan 31. Vader then challenged Jeff Jarrett and said, Hey, put your hair on the line in that match. We'll have Jeff Jarrett reply soon saying, Well, don't you put your mask on the line to make it mask versus hair. And then we had a tag team title match. WWF tag titles on the line as Legion of Doom defended against the British Brawlers, British Brawlers thanks to Bradshaw distracting William Regal and costing him the match. Adam and Hawk around the 75 mark. Really, really, really good. Fit Finley 59, Regal 62. And overall, a nice matchup in the end. That gives us 67, not enough women again. Uh, we need to have Ivory, I think, manage someone who, who's getting pushed. <laughs> it's a problem. Big problem right now. All right, let's take a look. Brian Pillman, only six days. Thank God. Only six days. Dodged a bullet, boys. Dodged a freaking bullet. 
So Russo thinks Recon sucks. Finally, we agree on something. Lanza thinks Kurgan sucks. Yep. And Hawk thinks Thrasher sucks. Okay. Who do we put her with? She's a baby face. Who can Ivory manage? You think Bradshaw? You think that could work? Well, Bradshaw's got Jack Lanza, who's not really doing a lot for them, so... Alright, we'll go Ivory. They can, she can manage these guys. Well, she can manage Bradshaw, and we'll keep Lanza with uh, Wyndham. Alright, so this is what we come up with. Our short-term goal. Every Raw outside the USA for one month. The penalty, the small venue for a pay-per-view not in the USA. So we have to use a small venue in a different country, which means our pay-per-view revenue the, will be severely down. And the quality will be severely down too. Popularity goal. Mark Henry has to get 70 pop by the end of 1998. If we don't do it, then the Royal Rumble winner must be a mid-carder or lower. Yikes. We need to do that because I want to have like The Rock or someone win the Rumble. I don't want to have... Uh, I don't want to have Thrasher win the Rumble, you know? Oh my... I don't want D'Lo Brown to win the Rumble. Jesus, we've got to get that one done. Long-term goal. Call up someone from developmental and make them a star, which is 70 popularity by the end of the year. If we don't accomplish that, then Meme Star, the person who sent the goal in, selects a superstar of his choice that must be signed to the World Wrestling Federation for a one-year contract. Are we happy with that? I think that's that's tough, but fair. We wanted something to spice it up. This is Raw as War. Let's take a look at the results. It was Dan Severin versus Jeff Hardy, and they had no chemistry. There you go. 48 rated. Severin, 53. Jeff Hardy, 42. I'm going to blame, blame uh, Silky for that one. He suggested we put uh, Jeff Hardy in there. Not the best call. <laughs> Didn't quite work out. 48, though. Severin, pretty good. 53, to be said. That was pretty good. Paul Baron Kane challenged The Undertaker to a match at WrestleMania. Hell in a cell. 96. Mark Henry defeated Honky Tonk Man for 37. Mark Henry, not so great. Not so great. Owen Hart and Triple H were backstage. They got in each other's face. I think I did want it to be a, a hype promo, but whatever. Triple H was on the screen. I guess that angle was messed up. But anyways, so they, yeah, they're talking a bit of trash to each other backstage in the locker room. We'll go with that. Ahmed Johnson and Vader had a match, 67. Ahmed, 63. Vader, 70. We had Jeff Jarrett on commentary, I believe. Marty Jannetty fired back, explaining how he felt about the attack from Brian Pillman at No Way Out, 53. Headbangers took on the British Brawlers for 67. Regal got 60. Uh, Finley, rather, got 60. Regal, 64. So this tag team really doing well, and the Headbangers were pretty good, too. We had The Rock and Farouk out there with the rest of the nation. Basically, the nation decided, that's it. Enough is enough. It's time for you two to settle this and settle it at WrestleMania. Mark Maron and Sable teamed up to take on Luna Vachon and Goldust. Sable struggled. She had 34. Mero 61. Goldust 64. Luna 44. All right. Not too bad. Not too bad. 56. The main event was a six-man tag. Austin, Shamrock, Owen Hart took on DX, Road Dog, Sh uh, Shawn Michaels, and Triple H. It was a draw, a time limit draw. 20 minutes, that's all I had. Went to a draw, ran out of TV time. Easy way to get away with it. Owen Hart, 87. Shamrock, 85. Austin, 93. Road Dog struggled, 63. 93 by Michaels, Triple H, 85. Gives us an 85-rated match and a 82 Rated show, and we finally had enough women on the show as well. 22.21 TV rating as well. That's what we managed to accrue there. It's going down, isn't it? Down and down and down. But um, that's okay. That's okay. We're doing fine. Let's take a look at the overall ratings battle. So we had 22.21, 16.65, Nitro, a flat 22. So another ratings win close. Piper and DDP in the main event was the top match there, 82. Savage beat Malenko for 80. Booker T beat Chris Jericho. Hey, Chris Jericho actually made it 
on Nitro. Wow, finally. And David Boy Smith beat Mortis. Conan defeated Lodi as well. Red Heart and Savage in a segment. Okay. Very good. All right, let's take a look at Mark Henry. How'd he go? Hey, 39, 38-ish. That's something. Remember, he started at 10. Got him to the, the benchmark. We got him up a little bit. Now up a little bit more. The goal is 70. We've got a long way to go to get there, but we've made a start. A couple good segments. We're on our way. Let's hope that we can achieve it. Sunny and Sable, 66, they can argue. Not bad. Aguilar and Kaz Hayashi, wow, 60. <laughs> Kaz, 57. Jesus. Aguilar, 51. Wow. Wow. Can't tell you how to promo afterwards. Probably just should, should have just left it there. Really. Ivory and China. So, China 60, Ivory 25. They did have chemistry, which lifted the match. Ivory probably has really bad popularity. She hasn't hit the 35 minimum yet. But, so China probably is around, you take away the chemistry, she's probably like 57, 56. So, that's not a surprise that she's that low. Road Dog, nice promo, 78 on Ken Shamrock. And Jeff Jarrett challenged Vader to a match, 76. And he challenged him to have the mask on the line as well. So, mask versus hair is official. And The Rock and Jeff Hardy in the main event. Nice match. The Rock, 79. Wow. Jeff Hardy, 52. 74 overall. Farouk on commentary. The Rock getting ready for a turn. 74. Gives us a 72 rated show. Nice from The Rock and Jeff Hardy. Good chance for him to step up. Next weekend, big stream. Big, big stream next weekend. Um, same time, but on Saturday, most likely. Keep an eye on my, on my Twitter. I'll let you know. And um, yeah, so I'll aim for Saturday, same time. And we'll do WrestleMania and in the Universe Mode pay per view afterwards as well. So big time on that one. With that being said, thank you so much for coming out to the stream, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. If you are watching on the YouTube, make sure you leave a like on the video and subscribe to see more videos coming up from me and more highlights videos. And of course, you can watch the full streams here on twitch.tv slash Plays.